when did you connect with Troy? You know, obviously the path is similar. You know, you can see the similarities on the field. You can see it in your triggers and your, and it's different than how you were playing last year. You know, I thought last year you played well, you played solid, but you weren't as instinctive as you are this year. This year you see it, you believe it, and you gun it every single time. Like what changed? Uh, you know, and I'll answer the first part first. You know, I was very fortunate. Um, my senior year of high school, I met, I was at the Polynesian Bowl in Hawaii. Uh, I met a guy by the name of Vi Sikahema. He was like one of the first ever Tongans to play in the NFL. Mm-hmm. Uh, good return guy, good specialist, uh, running back. He actually, we sat down and we talked. We're like, man, who do, who do you really inspire to be like? And I was like, man, I've been watching Troy my whole life. Like, you know, and I, I didn't, I had the short hair at the time. Don't get it confused. I had the short hair. <laughs> uh, but I was like, man, this is a guy that I really respected, you know, his game. And, you know, he's a very humble Polynesian dude. So I was like, Man, it'd be cool to, you know, just kind of emulate his game. So next thing you know, he's like, I actually know him. Let me put you in contact with him. And I'm like, as a senior in high school, you know, for me, it was like, it was raps. Like, you give me his number, right? I'm not ever losing this I'm number. I'm not losing it. Right? <laughs> and so I end up getting on, I get on the phone with him. And, you know, as a young kid, I'm, I'm still 17, by the way. So I'm like, I'm asking him, what can I do to be a better safety? And this guy completely avoids the question. He's like, we got to work on your character first. And he doesn't even know me. Like, I'm, I'm committed to USC. I want to go to USC because that was my dream school. But he's telling me, he's like, man, there's no need for work on safety. We need to work on your character first. And so I, we sit down and we come up with a list of things to do. And I'm just like, dang, I, I just want to play football. But <laughs> right, in, order, right. in order to do these things, that's how we can, you know, we're going to elevate your game. And so, you know, one of those things was we got to delete social media for all of college. And, and, I, and I looked at him like, dude, you're telling me as a, as a safety as a as a freshman, as a guy that's going to USC, a big branding market, I got to get rid of my social media. And he's like, yeah, if you want to be all in, we got to do this. So I was like, all right, say less. And so I ended up getting off of social media for three years because I only went to college for three years. So all three years, I never downloaded no app, never was on no app, no nothing. And I'm what? like, I'm like, this dude has me tripping. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. It's, yeah. But, you know, listen to a guy that did it at the highest level and, and was a Hall of Famer. I was like. I got to listen to him, you know, and, and he's, he's, he's done so many things in this game to change this game, but is also a great person. It would be stupid of me not to listen. So right. I followed some of the advice. There was other things that he had said, you know, and I kept doing them. And what was kind of cool about it is I don't think he actually knew that I did it. You know, he kind of told me this as, a, you know, this is like, I'm a young kid and I kept the relationship all the way through college. You know, I was able to see his house, go to his house, visit with his family and, and really create a close bond. But it wasn't until I finished my third year and I was decided to declare. I told him, I was like, yeah, I did all those things you had told me. <laughs> what did he say? I, I still remember he was on the phone with it and, and I'm on the phone with him. Like, cause I'm, I'm trying to ask him, can you train me for the, for the draft, but not really for the combine. I was like, can you train me just to get ready for the NFL? Right. And I think when I told him, I was like, yeah, I, I listened to everything you said. You know, his wife was there and he's like, I think he, I think he did everything I told him to do. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like no way and then he like gets back and he's like yeah i'll train you so i was like all right bet like this is cool and so you know I was he kind of sp- had to at that point he kind of had to yeah he i think he was just like you know very shocked but it was like you know for me i i respected him you know and i still do to this day like anything he says like i i really take it to heart and you know and and i, I truly want to be the best version of myself you know on, on the field and so i went through my rookie year and I, and as you said like you know there was little bits and pieces it was rough you know and everybody said oh you should have played no i was like I played just enough where I got to learn. I got to grow. I got to sit behind good veteran guys that really helped me see the game. And honestly, it was just, you know, a long year for me to just like try to get in tune to what this NFL life was. And so this year, you know, we had a great off season with Troy, um, but it really kind of propelled this, you know, this time for me to be able to trigger on the field, be able to see things different, prepare different. Uh, and go out there and knew what to expect when I when I hit the field. And so uh, a lot of this year is having a lot of great guys around me and great coaches. So I know there's a long answer to your question, mm. uh, but uh, it, it's, it's been a, a blessing in my life for sure. That, that People don't understand what great defense is and what great veterans can do for you. You know, great veterans can can lead you, teach you. Bad veterans can do the same thing. You know, there are teams you get on the team, veterans don't say nothing to you. They don't tell you how to prepare. They don't help you in practice. They don't encourage you. They don't support you. And then you just, you know, people have different careers. That's why people are, are like, man, you get to different teams and people have different experiences. But the the Nicholas John Bosa that you know and the <laughs> Nicholas John Bosa that I know is through them because you're talking about Nick. 
giving speeches after the game. I said, that's my boy. Look at him. They grown up because he didn't say six words the whole year. Oh, yeah. Weird. And, and it's funny because I think it really started last year because, you know, my first year last year, I'm like, man, this is the bear. Like, this is the guy. This is, you know, this is who I watched on on film, you know, and then you hear of his brother and everything and they're just so alike, you know, and they're just quiet and they just show up with this. Then you actually know coach is making them talk at, before pregame speeches. And I'm just like, this dude actually says words like and then and then, it, then it, it starts from six, like you said, then it works its way to 12. You know, he hasn't passed 15 yet, but okay. he's <laughs> he's working his way there. But he's just he's an incredible dude for sure. Well, he's working his way past 15 sacks. On the, yeah, that's for sure, boy. I'm, I'm, <laughs> the, I'm on the defensive MVP hype train, baby. I'm the conductor. Oh. Choo, choo. Oh, trust me, we all trying to get him. Like, I know I've seen some stuff, you know, and, and everybody wants, you know, other guys. And, like, man, Bosa can change the game just like just like that. So, right. you know, anytime we can get him on the field and get him to get to the quarterback or get to the running back, let him do it. Like, this. Bro. <laughs> hey, CMC then came. And, and made his presence felt. That's changed the offense and another, you know, made it more dynamic. Trent's back. Like, man, y'all got to be feeling good. Yeah, I think, honestly, for me, in my perspective, you know, I got to play against him, CMC, right before we, you know, we ended up trading and getting him. So it's kind of weird because, like, I took a bad angle and I was like, my, I think it was like, and, and everybody, you know, I missed tackles, but a lot of it is, you know, we, we shoot our guns, you know, and as, right. a, as, a, as our, our defense, especially, you can shoot your guns because you know right, somebody's you know running. Somebody coming. You know, the more actually, the more times, believe it or not, when you when you sit in the chair, they get more yards than right. just shooting your guns and somebody else hitting him right after he stops his feet. So I remember just sitting in the chair and and, and trying to see CMC run. And I'm like, that's a touchdown. He cut back on me. And I, and I remember seeing. So he, he gets traded. He comes here. And I'm like talking to him like the first thing I asked him in the locker room was, bro, like, why'd you cut back on me? Like, <laughs> like, tell me why. Like, what did I do to give you like, he's like, man, I just don't like playing against guys like that. Like that just shoot their guns. Like, and I'm just like, wow, that's the first time he saw me sit in the chair. So <laughs> runs right by me, uh, scores. But what was cool about him what was really impressive is he came in on, a, I think, a Friday. And he turned around and played on a Sunday. Right. And, and you know, you know, Kyle's scheme, it, it's not it's not simple. It's not easy. Guys that playing this scheme, I have so much respect for because it's if you hear the huddle call, you would know like how crazy this offense is and, and what they do. Right. And for him to come in in a game like that and, and just be able to play, because I remember seeing him, I think Saturday, the walk through, I was like, are you playing? He's like, yeah. And I was like, you just got here. And he's like, yeah, I'm ready to go. And so he prepares every week, you know, be ready to go. And, and that's why I have so much uh, respect for him. Uh, he's such a great player, but a great person as well. Yeah, he is. He's a cool dude. You know, Stanford guys, they, 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 they figure it out. You know, you know, whatever. You know, we used to be good at a point in time. You ain't got to see it, but, but we, we used to be all right. 